What's going on guys? Well, today I'm practicing dent removal on my refrigerator before I go out and uh, practice on my car. Uh, today, I'm looking at the uh, one of the Amazon kits that they have on the Amazon. <laughs> um, I went ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and review it, I guess, and see how well it does with the dent on my stainless steel uh, refrigerator. This is a Samsung unit, if that makes a difference. I don't know if there's different grades of stainless with different brands, but this is a Samsung one. All right, so this is one of Amazon's paintless dent repair kits. Again, I went with this one because it was the least expensive and it came with everything that I wanted to try to get this dent out of my refrigerator. Most importantly, it came with this tool right here. It came with a hammer, came with a whole knockdown set, spatula, bunch of adapters for this guy right here. It came with a hot glue gun, came with two flavors of glue, came with a T-bar dent repair kit. So it actually came with two tools to take dents out came with a little bottle and it came with a little cloth and most important the most important thing it came with that bag okay because I'm gonna just take all this and throw it in this bag take it out to the car here in a minute but as far as what we got going on um, with the two flavors of glue we got um, two different strengths of adhesion um, I'm pretty sure that the black is stronger than the clear here so we're using clear on the refrigerator the black you're gonna to wanna to use on the car if you're using the T-bar here. Um, from me just messing around with this a second ago, the metal on the refrigerator is super duper soft, so I'm not gonna need that guy. I'm gonna use it on the car. All you need is this guy right here. All right, so I'm gonna cut right to what the dent looked like before. All right, so let's take a look at the dent on the fridge. So there it is right there. You can see it's this area right here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, you can see it from all kinds of different angles. You can see it from far away, yeah. And uh, all depending on like, there you go. You can see it pretty good now. So I got me a little uh, dry erase marker and uh, put a circle around it just so we don't lose it um, on camera. All right, step one is gonna be clean the dent off. Okay, so in the bottle that they provided, got some rubbing alcohol. It says clean it off real well. It comes with a whole bunch of different adapters and you're basically just supposed to match up the dent with the adapter. So if the dent was only this big, I'd be using that one. There's like a whole bunch of different, different shapes, even for like little round ones. They're all just a little bit different, like these little bitty ones, it's pretty cool. The one I'm gonna go with is this one, from the way it's shaped. It's shaped pretty much just perfect how this dent is, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Get my Sharpie back out. You're on dry erase. This right here. It's just kind of hard to see. It's kind of easy to lose, I think. Um, but it's it's a line, so it, it matches up just about perfect. I'm gonna hot glue this right here, and then uh, just pull on it nice and slow and see what we end up with. Just put a little bit of hot glue on here. It's nice and hot, and then stick it right on the fridge. Whew. All right, while that's cooling off, I go ahead and try to explain uh, what this is. This is a knockdown tool, and we're gonna use this after we uh, pull this dent out. Typically, when we pull the dent out, there'll be some high spots, and we're gonna use this and this hammer, and we're just gonna kinda knock down anything high that we see, okay? So this is a nice plastic tip, and this thing's made out of aluminum. It's, uh, it's not gonna really damage the uh, the refrigerator too much. It's meant to be really, really, uh, like, really safe on you know car paint so it should work pretty good on the stainless it comes with you know whole bunch of different style tips for whatever kind of knockdown you need to do i mean there's pretty much like every shape that you could possibly want in this kit to, you know, for whatever you need all right so here's the tool here it has an adjuster that we're going to use to move um, the end of this in and out that's going to allow us to get a nice Tight fit. Let me move this around so you can actually see what's going on. Go like this with the adapter. Move the feet onto the fridge. Okay, and then I'm going to turn the adjustment screw and make everything nice and tight against the fridge. So we don't want any slack in it at all. all right, so it's nice and tight. All right. All you have to do is just pull this together and you can see how it's gonna work on the dent. Now this is gonna take a couple tries to see what it's actually doing. 
I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Pull the trigger here so you can see how it is pulling the metal. I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm not squeezing it all the way. I'm just pulling it a little bit. Let's zoom out real quick. And this might take a couple times to see what your results are, but I'm just pulling on a little bit. Just kind of use your best judgment, go slow. I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise to take it off. It's gonna loosen everything back up. I can just slide it all off. Let's see here, give it to me. There we go. Get you a little bit of rubbing alcohol sprayed on there. You get your scraper. Peel it right off, okay? And then we'll use the little towel I came with. Soak that up, see what we got. All right, so check this out. You can, after one little try, you can already tell that it, it actually pulled it out and I'm gonna have to knock it down a little bit. It's not, it's not a dent anymore. It's actually coming out a little bit. So hopefully the camera can pick that up. Let me get a marker. Sure, all right. Oh, there we go, right there. Alright, so there we go right there. It's actually not a dent anymore. Wow, it's after like one try. Alright, now that I have it pulled out, I'm going to want to knock it in a little bit until I get it to kind of how I like it. Okay, and I just kind of use my judgment and use the right adapter, which I think I'm going to use um, this bigger, flatter adapter here. That one that might work out pretty good. And I'm just gonna just very gently knock down the high spots until I like it. And it doesn't take much. So the stainless steel is really, really soft. I can't believe how easy it is to pull the dent out. I actually couldn't handle this back in. So all I can say is just take your time. You definitely will pull your dent out. Just don't don't be super aggressive with it, and you will definitely make it look a lot better. I'm barely hitting it. I mean, the amount I'm hitting this thing is like, and it's, it's working it in. Now, the one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to hammer this in where it makes round marks or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just actually just want to push the metal, not like beat, beat it to death. But yeah, man, I, go ahead and clean this off and we'll take a look at the result. Cause holy cow. Here's the results. The dent was right here. I just cleaned this off with some stainless steel cleaner. And it is basically, it looks 90% better. I can't, I can't, I can't really stress. I don't know if the camera's really picking it up really well or not, how bad it was before and what it looks like now. I can kind of see that it's a little bit still right there. I could probably work on it just a little bit more to make it like 100% maybe, but I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna leave it just like that because it looks, it looks great. You can't see the concave reflection in it anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, if you're actually thinking about buying one of these kits, I know there's a ton of them on Amazon and you don't know which one to get. Like I didn't know which one to get. I pretty much just chose the cheapest one I could find that had the most stuff. It had to come with the hot glue gun. It had to come down with the knockdown kit because I don't want to buy it separate. It had to come with everything. And it was about 40 bucks. So I'll leave that link down below if you want to check that out. I really do appreciate you guys checking out this video. Normally I do car videos. Today's gonna be a house video um, using car repair tools, I guess. And um, yeah, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment box. You guys take care, be safe. Have a great weekend later.